it's Lon Seibin, and it's time for your weekly wrap-up. And I want to first begin by thanking our latest Patreon supporter, William Harden, who contributed to the channel since the last wrap-up a week ago. So thank you, William, for your contribution, and it is greatly appreciated. Uh, so we got a bunch of stuff to talk about this week, including the giveaway update. I finally have a date and time locked in. So this Sunday, November 29th at uh, we're going to look at around uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the U.S. So go to one of those uh, websites that tells you what time it is where you are uh, so you can tune in. So we're not going to be doing it in the evening here. It's going to be in the afternoon, uh, 1 p.m. on Sunday. And what we're going to do is uh, give away two licenses to the Valve Complete Set on Steam. So this is going to be every Valve game ever made, including the ones that are yet to be made as well. You apparently get all of those into your Steam library uh, whenever they come out. It's a $99 Valve. Value, uh, and that will be uh, there'll be two of those uh, so definitely sign up at lon.tv slash enter uh, to be able to get eligible for that giveaway that is where you want to go uh, sign up now it's going to go up until about uh, Saturday night so Saturday at midnight here in the US is when the cutoff is so get in there uh, sign up so you will have a shot at winning you don't need to be watching the live stream to win I will notify the winners uh, via email but I, we'd love to have you uh, on there what we're gonna be doing is a, a little uh, living room thing where we're gonna take that Alienware steam machine that we've been playing with uh, and play some games in my living room next door this is something that uh, Alienware and Dell are sponsoring it's not a big big sponsorship they're getting us getting us some pizza and stuff but it will be uh, uh, really fun to do that and uh, those uh, two licenses were provided by Alienware uh, and Dell as well as Valve so that is uh, what that's all about definitely uh, tune in on Sunday I'll have the recording also so you can watch after the fact and do give us some good game suggestions for uh, living room multiplayer gaming we'll have probably about three or four people over uh, some friends of mine that are looking to get into uh, doing some of this game streaming stuff and they're going to guide me the old man uh, through all of these latest and greatest games I also wanted to let you know the store will be updated on Tuesday November 24th with a bunch of items that I've reviewed and will be getting rid of these are mostly the items that I've purchased and then uh, resell so this is the resell portion of that transaction uh, one apiece because these are the actual Actual items that you saw here on the table uh, that I reviewed I usually sell them pretty well below retail because they are used items so uh, be on the lookout for that if you want to get notified right when it's available uh, sign up for my email list at lon.tv slash email once I get the everything uploaded and uh, situated on the store I will send out an email blast to everyone to let them know about that as well as the giveaway so uh, be sure to do that if you want to get a shot at buying something that I've reviewed on the channel uh, just know that that kangaroo PC is not going to be up there any anytime soon that is a very useful uh, part of my repertoire now so I'm gonna be uh, hanging on to that one but you can get your own for 99 bucks it's a really good deal for that uh, kangaroo PC so this week we looked at a bunch of things here on the channel I went to New York City again just because uh, I love going to New York City especially when there's a cool event to go to and I got to see the new HP Elite X2 we saw some cool stuff from Acer as well as Lenovo so you can see my uh, first look roundup of everything I saw at that event uh, we also took a look at uh, the NVIDIA Shield K1 tablet. This is a, a new version of the old tablet they had last year. And actually, uh, inside, it's pretty much the same thing, but they took out the stylus uh, and basically uh, shed some cost on it to bring the price down to $199. So it still has the K1 processor, pretty much the same performance as last year's model, uh, but now it is less expensive. So you can check out that review. I did do a couple of new things with it, including a lot of PC connections that I didn't do the first time uh, when I initially reviewed it. So be sure to check out that video. Uh, we also did a review of the RCA Cambio, which is a Target exclusive device. It's now on sale right now at Target, actually. So if you go over to that video, I got everything linked above, by the way, in our master playlist. It's also down below uh, in the video description. Uh, there is a link to Target so you can get this thing. It is on sale. I think it's like $179 or something right now. So pretty good deal on a detachable uh, Bay Trail powered Intel device that runs Windows 10. Pretty good deal there. Uh, we also did some more stuff with that Alienware Steam Machine. This is I like to tinker with things every once in a while. And what we did is we installed Windows on it. So we played some Windows games. And I also showed how I got Windows on it without disturbing the Steam OS that was already on its hard drive. So we did something with uh, Windows 2 go which is a, a way that you can install windows onto an external drive and not disturb what's already on the computer so you can take this little ssd that i've got uh, plug it into that steam machine boot up windows and play all your windows games and then when you're done just shut it down take out that drive and then turn it back on and you are back to where you were before what's really cool is those windows to go drives can boot up other computers too uh, windows is able to keep 
track of the hardware and make sure it gets the right drivers depending on what it's booting up on. It's a really flexible uh, way to run Windows and we use that uh, method for this experiment. Now if you really want to run Windows games on a device like this you can buy the Alienware Alpha which is actually the same computer as the Steam machine but if you really want to do both Steam OS and Windows what I detail I think is probably the best way uh, to get at it. So take a look at that and we looked at a neat little wired Xbox One controller that lights up. It's called the PDP Prismatic. A uh, pretty fun little uh, game controller that we saw there. And now it's time for some news, and I missed this when it was announced, but Western Digital is buying SanDisk for $19 billion. It's a huge transaction, uh, basically merging two very large storage companies, WD, who does uh, spinning hard drives and some NAS devices, uh, with SanDisk that does flash devices. And uh, you'd be surprised how far SanDisk's reach is. They've got a lot of stuff out there, a lot of computers that uh, you may not even know this are powered by SanDisk. SanDisk flash drives, those HP streams that we've looked at in the past and many, many others are uh, all using SanDisk flash. So it is a huge merger of two companies that do uh, very different things in the storage environment. So if it passes regulatory muster, uh, they are going to be a big mega company for storage. So uh, we'll see what happens with that moving forward. Uh, and the 10th an anniversary of the Xbox 360, I think is today or was yesterday or just a couple days ago. Uh, so uh, it's really a, a console that lasted a long, long time with with some really great games. I really enjoyed and still do uh, my Xbox 360. To some degree, I actually like the 360 better than the Xbox One just because, I don't know, it just feels like this current console generation isn't a huge bump uh, over the last one. Like the you know, 360 from the original Xbox was a major leap forward. Uh, these new boxes are kind of like a little bit of an incremental change. Certainly the graphics are a little bit better, but uh, the Xbox 360 was something I really got a lot of use out of over the last 10 years or so, and I still use mine uh, quite a bit, more so than I use the current generation generation console. So it's 10 years old. I'd love to hear what some of your favorite games are. Maybe I can uh, take a look and get a few games cheap right now because they are all out there. Uh, this week we've got a bunch of stuff we're looking at. I just shot this tonight, uh, the new uh, Chrome Bit from Asus, and I'm going to be uploading that video right after this one. Uh, so if you're up late tonight, you'll see that one popping up very shortly. Uh, we also took a look at the Asus Chromebook 15. I recorded that video too. Uh, that one will likely be up tomorrow, so be on the lookout for uh, lots of Chrome OS stuff, and I've got a whole bunch of other things out there too. I just got to figure out what's next, so stay tuned and you will see more videos. I try to crank them out as fast as I can. If you want to help the channel, you can. You can go to lon.tv slash Patreon and make a monthly contribution to the channel. Uh, you can also do so at lon.tv, which is my uh, YouTube fan funding link for a one-time contribution to the channel. Uh, all of those funds go towards helping me buy the things that I review on the channel and then resell. So when I restock the store, uh, I sell things, but they are being sold for less than I bought them for. So I take a bit of a loss there. Uh, this fund helps with that. Eventually, what I'd like to do is be able to hire somebody to help me produce more content more efficiently. Uh, so one day uh, that fund might actually go towards that more so than the buying and the repurchasing. But right now that's its uh, use and it's uh, been really helpful and I really appreciate uh, everyone's help with that because every little bit uh, does help keep me going here because ad revenue is not uh, the end of the uh, line for revenue unfortunately on YouTube. What I've been seeing this year is actually uh, ma I'm making about the same money with double the traffic. So we'll see what happens when we get into the holiday season here. I'm assuming hopefully that I will do better than I did last year and I'm not going to stop by any means even if I don't do as well, but it was I've been doing a lot of analysis of my analytics here now and that I'm at the end of the year and kind of comparing this year to last and uh, seeing a pretty big reduction in uh, the uh, the cost per thousand, the CPM I'm getting back from YouTube. And I think it's just a matter of so much video is out there uh, that it really does saturate the marketplace to a point where other revenue streams have to be part of the equation, which is partly why uh, YouTube launched YouTube Red. So I do appreciate your support no matter what you do. Viewership is always the most important thing. And you can also connect with the channel in a couple of different ways. You can sign up on my email list at lon.tv slash email. Uh, you can go to my Facebook page at lon.tv slash Facebook. What I use the Facebook page for is just to like do stuff during the day. So for example, when that Chrome bit came in, I took a photo of it and I said, hey, I'm reviewing this tonight. So if you want to kind of get a little sneak peek as to what I'm working on or things that are on my mind uh, related to the channel, you can uh, check that out there because the things that I put on Facebook that don't really fit anywhere else, so it's a good spot for that. And I also have my forums at lon.tv slash forums. And I kind of use that for a couple things. One is to communicate with people that do uh, register and post there. I also use that as a place to post frequently asked questions that I get 
on things and I may not do a video as a follow-up mechanism. Sometimes I just put some text up and it's a good landing spot for that too. So that will do it for this week's weekly wrap-up. As always, uh, please just keep watching those videos. That's what keeps this channel moving. Uh, but your comments, suggestions, and thoughts are always appreciated. I am doing my best to keep up with the comments. I'm really seeing as the, as the traffic's improved and, and increased, I'm also seeing a lot more comments coming in. I'm having a hard time keeping up. So if I didn't respond to you, please don't take it personally. I'm doing my best. Uh, but definitely keep watching and keep writing. Thanks for watching, and this is Lon Seidman. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.